चिंता करू कली जुगे नाम संगे संग अवतार श्रीमद महाप्रभु इज वंडरफुल अद्भुत कारुण्य अद्भुत उदार्य अद्भुत उदार्य Wonderfully merciful, wonderfully munificent, wonderfully magnificent. We understand magnanimous, audacious figure. Three times, Sri Lanka Viraj Goswami used this word "adhuta." Wonderfully, we understand. Avataro saro gora avatar. Kino na bhaji luta hai. We understand. लड़ हरिहर इन्यूमरेबल अवतार अवतार आई असंख्य हरे सत्व निधि दीजा जथा विदा सुन कुल्या सरसा शिव सहसाई से लड़ हरि इन्यूमरेबल इन्यूमरेबल इन्फॉर्मेशन अवतार सार गोरा अवतार गोरा अवतार जी मोस्ट फेमस अवतार Yeah, because <laughs> it's Krishna himself. Uh, it's very rare that he comes in this form of a bhakta. Because he freely gave Krishna prayer. <laughs> you understand? Krishna himself, but Krishna doesn't give prayer. Krishna doesn't give. Rakhe lukanya, rakhe lukanya. Krishna keeps it hidden. Keeps it hidden. But when he Comes as Mahaprabhu, Sri Mahaprabhu freely distributes. That's why. Avatar sar gura avatar. Prabhu, you mean Jiver Mangal Chintakji? Only Jige Nam Sangi Sunu. Thinking the welfare of the Jivas, Kali Jiva, Krishna himself uh, advanced with his holy name. अवतार सारो गोरा अवतार केनो नाम हुदी दुदार हां इट्स मोस्ट फेमस चीफ ऑफ ऑल अवतारस इज गोरांग अवतार एंड व्हाई आर यू नॉट डूइंग हिज भजन व्हाई केनो नाम हुदी दुदार करी नीरे बास नागल पियास आपना कर्म मार चुके हां वाटर वाटर इन वेयर Not a drop to drink. Ha! Or you need a glass of nine rupees. Ha! You are emptied to water. Water, water, you know it. But your thirst is not quenched. Why is it so? When Mahaprabhu came, he made the whole world inundated with the prem banya, the flood of prem. You understand? Ha! उमे Old men, the young men, the boys, the girls, the blind men, the crippled—all made all ah huh? inundated with that prey. You understand? So good to me. It's so wonderfully merciful and meek. Ah, huh? but so good vessel. पड़वास पासंडीज एंड पड़वास अधम पुर 
Do you understand? Ashanti means atheist. Atheist. And uh, uh, the other word I don't know. All the poor ones, this, uh, those who are getting materialistic education. You understand? Zorbidya also. Eh? They were they were. They were. Et donc les, les Pachandi, les athées, et une autre catégorie d'êtres qui en fait sont ces gens qui ont une éducation matérielle, matérialiste. Ces deux catégories d'êtres, eh bien eux, ils s'enfuyaient devant l'inondation. Uh, very, very secure, you see. Uh, never, Krishna never gives. But when Mahaprabhu came, he gave freely. But those who are most unfortunate fellows, you understand, those who are, those who are the most unfortunate fellows, they cannot get it. They cannot get it, says. Avatirne Gaura Chandre Vistirni Primasagari. महाप्रभु And there was Prem Sagar, the ocean of Prem, who oh, spread all over, you understand, all over the world. Uh, what is that? It, how could he spread such Prem? Huh? With Shravan Kirtan. With Shravan Kirtan, Navabhidhavakti. With Navabhidhavakti, he spread uh, this uh, Prem Sagar, the ocean of Prem. But those who don't have held this opportunity, you understand? Such golden opportunity is there. Oh. Uh, those who are unfortunate fellows, they cannot have held such opportunity. They are most unfortunate, most wretched, most unfortunate. There is no doubt in it. When this Prem Sago, the ocean of love, is there, widespread, eh? everywhere, mm. but one who doesn't eh? have a deep in it, what is he? He's the most unfortunate fellow, you understand? If we will never be inundated to this friend saga, or son of love, he must mm, He must be drowned in anarthasar, in the ocean of anarthas. Anarthas, you know, yes. anarthas. Definitely must be. Shiva Bhas, isn't it? <laughs> He's drowning in anarthasar, isn't Shiva Bhas? Are you drowning in anarthasar, in the ocean of anarthas? Huh? Not drowning in Prince Sagar. Huh? In the ocean of love, that Mahaprabhu, <coughs> but you are drowning in Anarthasara, isn't it? It's true? Oh, I cannot judge. I'm not in a position. <laughs> you may say, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> good swimmer. <laughs> good swimmer. Good swimmer. Are Baba, you cannot swim. There are very ferocious animals. Great, great sharks, crocodiles, whales, they will be worried about oh, how can you swim? <laughs> <laughs> such a crossover, such a dreadful ocean. <laughs> yes, I, you have strength? I'm waiting for someone who can save me. Yeah, who will save you? <laughs> If you want to take center of Mahaprabhu. <laughs> If you want to take center of Mahaprabhu, who will save you? You see, ah, this is such nectarian, so sweet, this uh, frame, and one who cannot taste it, hmm? taste it. What is he? Mahamudra, a great master. Dhinu. 
must fetch it. There is no doubt in it. Sri hmm. Rupa Swami says, Adho Shraddha, Tata Sadhu Sundha, Tata Bhajan Kriya, Tata Nartuni Kriya. You understand? Then comes Nishtha. You will see Asati Bha Prem. You understand? Unless your Anarthas are completely eradicated, destroyed, how can you step into that platform? Platform of that Mahaprabhu is giving prem. How can you? You understand? Try to understand. Most important thing is human life. Ah, is really achieved. Guru Lama Manu Sundarma. Ah, really achieved. After undergoing lakhs, 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 lakhs of species, you see, and and um, wandering in lakhs and lakhs of planetary systems, sometimes higher, sometimes intermediate, sometimes lower. Narka like this, you have gotten this uh, huh? human body, which is well after Guru And purpose of this human body is to Achieve that Krishna praying, that is fifth Purusartha. That is the purpose of this human body. You understand? Gardhagar lato ami kori kori shram. Kar lagya toko. Nagusi lo bhram. Like an ass toiling heart. Isn't it? Toiling? Like an ass toiling heart. Why? Why are you toiling? Why are you toiling so hard? For what purpose? For whom? Huh? For what purpose and for whom? Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? You have some mis- misconception, I think. You have some misconception. Therefore, you are toiling so hard. Huh? For what? For what do we say? This is a very hard struggle for existence, isn't it? Hard struggle for existence. How to exist, how to exist. Very hard struggle. Jogya Tavar Udvartan. Isn't it? Survival of the fittest. <laughs> survival of the fittest. When the fittest person, he can survive. It's very hard struggle. So, super bass. He's struggling <laughs> very hard like a, like an ass, isn't it? But still cannot make both ends meet. Though he sees, he cannot see. Isn't it? Though he sees, he cannot see. Pasyanapi na pasyati. Atma sanyas asat sati, nidhana ngapi, pasyan napi na pasyati. Nidraya hyate naktam, vevaye na chavabhaya. Chatya yara jan, kutumbha varanina va. Jeeva. Kutumbha varanina va. Kutumbha varanina va. Chattho, varjane, chattho varjane kutumbha varanina va. You see, how the time is going on, you see, how your time, how your time you spend, you see. Nidra ahyate naktam vevayaru chavavaya. All night he spent in sleeping or in enjoying sex. The whole day time is spent in earning money, toiling hard like an ass. Kudumbo bharani inova for the maintenance of body and family. Isn't it? In this way, time is passing away, passing away, passing away, passing away, and just going closer, 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 nearer, nearer to what? Death. Do you understand? Like Bruka, a deer, you see. A deer is grazing. Mm. The past are gone, grazing. Ah. In front of the deer, a, a Tiger is there, sitting to eh, devour, catch up that deer. And at the back, a hunter is aiming at, eh, just placing arrow on his bow, aiming at the deer. Shoot him, 
Do you understand? Like the fact is the condition is like that. Isn't it so bad? Your condition is like that. <laughs> you should think of very seriously what is the condition. In the front there is tiger. At the back, hunter is there. Here I will go. <laughs> Both sides. Both sides there is <laughs> danger. Means death is awaiting. But he is not aware of it. Huh? He is not aware of it. Huh? So foolish. So foolish. And also I just said in Srimad Bhagavatam, Ayu harati vai pumsang udayanasto. You understand? By the rising of the sun and setting of the sun, the sun takes away and your life span. You see? Sun takes away your life span. Ayu harati vai pumsang udayanasto. That's Bhagavatam says. Such materialistic persons, those who are not engaged in Hari Bhajan, do you understand? Not engaged in Hari Bhajan, their lifespan is, is taken away by song. If a day, by the rising and setting, one day is now lost, less, then next day, another day, less, another day, less. Huh? Are you keeping record? How many days are now <laughs> gone and how, how many are left out? But those who are engaged in Hari Bhajan, the sun cannot take away their lifespan. You understand, Sukhupaya? Sun cannot take away. Those are engaged in Hari Bhajan. Sun will be afraid of. Jamaraj will be afraid of. To approach that person. It is said, (laughs) Mahaprabhu gave very easy method. You understand? Though this is Kali Yuga, most degraded is sinful is, huh? sinful activities are rampant. Dosa Nidhi. This Kali Yuga has so many, like Abdhi Purima, Ocean like. Do you understand? Ocean like. What do you say? False. 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 Dosha. Eh? Yes. Or like false. Still, very good quality is here. Kalak dosa nidhi yasti mahasana. Kirtana deva kushna sya mutta sunga parma. If you do kushna kirtan, kushna kajar, very easily, very easily, he will be delivered. Not only that. Mukhya pathe jiva pae kushna prema dena. That we say. Eh? The chief result of this nam bhajan, hari bhajan. Krishna Bhagavan is Krishna praying. That Mahaprabhu said. Only by chanting, Astrayalaya Bhaje Tati Krishna Mahitya De. Taking shelter of a bona fide Vaishnava Guru, if you do this bhajan, then Krishna will never leave you. Krishna will never leave you. You see? You will get Krishna praying, that means you will get Krishna. You will be able to bind up Krishna with the rope of love in your heart. Very simple. And this Hari Bhadam is meant for one and all, you see, for all ashram divisions of people. Whatever ashram one may be, Brahmachari will do, Grihastha will do, Mahanprasthi will do, Sanyasa will do, all will do. Even animals, in the language of my Guru Maharaj, even dogs and cats can take part in this Namsan. My Guru Maharaj said that. And Mahaprabhu himself did it. Isn't it? While he was passing through the Hadikon jungle, he met the lions, the tigers, the deers, the beacons, the creepers, the trees, chant and dance. You see? Yes. Mahaprabhu is so wonderfully merciful. Once around this um, village of Kuriya Gram, Kuriya village. Hmm? Asked Mahaprabhu hmm, in Jagannath Puri, you understand? Of taking of sannyas, Jagannath Puri was staying there, and Mahaprabhu was staying there in Jagannath Puri. Hmm? So every year, by this time of Rasadatra, hmm, 
Sattva Master, four months. You know. The devotee is from Gaudadesh, Bengal. He used to go to Puri, Jagannath Puja. They associate with the Mahaprabhu, Sri Lord Jagannath, stay there four months. You understand? Every year he used to go. So once this villager of Kuliagram asked Mahaprabhu, oh, Mahaprabhu, what is our duty? This instructors. Hmm? Mahaprabhu said, Vaishnava <coughs> Sevana Krishna Pujana Nirantara Kara Krishna Nana Sankirtan. This is your duty. Hmm? Mahaprabhu said. Because they are grossness. Hmm? That's what is our duty. Please instruct. Mahaprabhu says, this thing. Vaishnava Sevana Krishna Pujana Nirantara Kara Krishna Nana Sankirtan. Sarv Vaishnav. Mm. Sarv Vaishnav, thereby Krishna will be worshipped. And always chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. This is Mahapuja. You understand? Lost all do like that. No difficulty. Mm. There's no difficulty. Mm. That's Mahaprabhu's instruction. And Bhagavatam also says that. Hmm? Which is the real griha? Which is not griha? Adhana vidya dhanya sadhavo gome dhina jatgraha yara varsambo truna bhumi swara You understand? Fourth canto. Oh. Oh. Bhagavatam says this. One day think, all right. Mahaprabhu says Vaishnava Sevana and Krishna Pujana. Hmm? If you can serve a Vaishnava as Vaishnavas, then automatically Krishna will be worshipped and will be pleased. So I am very poor man. I am no penny. I am a penniless man. You understand? Uh, how can I serve Vaishnava? Huh? Money is required. Isn't it? Hmm? Hmm. I have no money. I am very, very poor. One may think like that. Hmm? How can I do it? Because he said, Adhana Pita Dhanya, Sadhva Brahmi Dhino, Jatbuha Rabar Sambhu, Tuna Bhumi Sura Bara. All right, if you are poor, you have no money, still you have a humble cottage. Isn't it? Huh? Very humble cottage, you are mud out. Whatever you are. Huh? But you have to. One straw mat, isn't it? You must have one straw mat. You must have an humble cottage, not for a steel building. Huh? You, there must be some water available in your house, isn't it? Huh? So, call a sadhu Vaishnava, invite him, pay him obeisances, huh? clean the Floor very nicely with cow down, smearing cow down, that you can do, uh, and spread the straw mat, uh, and allow that voice will sit there. Please, Maharaj, sit here. Uh, person to sit here. If you have nothing, you may offer him very nice glass of cold water with one to sleep. Can't you do this thing? Can't you do this thing? Adana Pita Dhamnya, Sadhava Grahami Dhino, Jatruha, Rabar Sambhu, Truma Bhuvi, Sura. There, he is a real grasta. You understand? Though he is poor, penniless, still a very fortunate person, he is serving Vaishnava. And that Guru is a real Guru. You understand? Stop of that. Then he said, that next verse says, Mara Vaishnava Vai Te Apya Ritta Khira Sampada Jadgruha Stirtha Padiyo Padu Tirtho Vibhajita. You understand? There is a householder. He has much wealth. A very first young nice building like Emperor's Palace. You understand? Like an Emperor's Palace. But he never invites a Vaishnava Sadhana. In other words, the feet, the foot of a Vaishnava is never set there. 
You understand? Huh? What is that griha? That is balalayu, balalayu druma. That is that. That is like a tree in which a very a great poisonous, great poisonous snake is living. Is like that. Then tree, you see, gives very full shade. Eh? Some traveler is coming and spokes horse and eat the sun, so staya. When it finds oh very nice. Shady tree, let me sit down. Underneath he sits down and the tree gives very cool shade. But if there is a snake with eh? poison or snake, nobody will go to that tree. Hey, hey, don't go, don't go. Let's say a great snake is there. Then say nobody will go. Balala you do. Understand? Great poisonous snake is there. Is it similar? That movie is like that. Huh? The very celestial building is there. And so much of a wealthy person, you know, stop. But never such calls invites a voice no sadhu, never such. That movie is like that. Balala you do. Snake is living. Asat Guha, that is Asat Guha. Hmm. Uh, you understand? So, he has very much attachment towards that wealth, that Guha. Uh, when he dies, that person dies. Uh, as he has attachment that Guha, he becomes a ghost and comes to that house. Hmm. You understand? A ghost. He becomes a ghost and comes to that house because he has attachment. In his wealth in that house, you see. Right. So when he comes as a ghost, his children, you see, his sons, daughters, those who are in the, well, what do they do? Huh? They try to drive away with that ghost. Hey, ghost, get out here! So they call that, well, chant mantra and drive out <laughs> ghost. <laughs> you see. <laughs> and drive, hey, get out! You cannot develop a task when first Krishna. And you cannot understand this thing that everything belongs to Krishna. Everything belongs to Krishna. Huh? Krishna is the only proprietor. One who has property is a proprietor. Everything belongs to Krishna. But Krishna is the only proprietor, supreme proprietor. Isn't it? Your body is also a property of Krishna. Your body is not your property. It's Krishna's property. You also, a soul also, Krishna property is Krishna Das. Jiva soul, Bhoi Krishna Nitya Das. That's the real identity. You are eternal servant of Krishna. You never belong to yourself. You belong to Krishna. Your body belongs to Krishna. Whatever you have gotten, your house, your family, your children, your wealth, whatever you have gotten, everything belongs to Krishna. One should understand this thing. And why Krishna has given all these things to you? Because you will utilize everything in his service. In his service as you are Krishna Das. So he has given all these things to you. But instead of utilizing all these things in Krishna's service, if you utilize all these things in your own Service, that means in the service of your senses. You understand? Service of your senses. Well, material you know, enjoyment. Service of your own sense of your own body or sense of your family, whatever you may say. Then you become, then you become a criminal. A thief. Isn't it? You become a criminal. Because you uh, enjoy Krishna's property. Vishnu's property. Ah, Vishnu kriya na kari le, poran no khai le, ah, kichu no hoi, tai bede bole. Tai bede bole. Bede says, ah, everything belongs to Lord Vishnu or Krishna. Ah, so, Krishna is giving you anna, Vishwambhara. Krishna Vishwambhara, who maintains the whole universe. Who maintains you? You maintain yours. Ah, who maintains you? Krishna. Krishna maintains you, you said, you take air, sounds like that, huh? 
If the, this air, nishwasa, no yoga vishwasa, you are breathed out. If that breath will never come in, then you are finished. Isn't it? Isn't it? Can you survive? Can you survive? Huh? You are breathed out now. If that never returns, finished. What do you say? He breathes his last. Mm-hmm. He last breathes breath. his last. <laughs> Isn't it? He breathes his last. That we say, Vishwase noiva Vishwasa. Nishwase noiva Vishwasa. You see, it is said. You cannot rely on this breathing. You see, when, at what moment it will never come back? You can't say. Any moment. Maybe like that. Then, so, this air, who gives you this air? Huh? That now you, you are surviving, huh? So, Krishna gives everything, everything. Krishna is not. Krishna is Sambara, huh? Krishna is the maintainer of the whole universe. You should understand this thing. An intelligent man, person should understand this thing. Everything belongs to Krishna. Krishna is supreme proprietor. Everything is property. I am his property. I, I belong to him. So, everything is meant for his enjoyment, for his enjoyment, not for your enjoyment. Ahankar vimuratma kasta niti nunyati, a builder soul. Ahankar vimuratma false ego is very great powder. He thinks that I am the tower, I am the master, and everything belongs to me. So, when he commits such crime, he is punished by Maya. You understand? He is punished by Maya. He is captured by Maya. Maya puts him in this prison house, this material world, Maya Kulto Karaga. Hmm? This prison house created by Maya. Generally, criminals are put into prison house. And you are put in prisoner because you cannot. You understand? Ghajiba Gulia Asak, Sansara Bhuttari. Gulia Rahile Tumi, Avidya Rahile. Isn't it? You have come here to do Krishna Bhajan. Isn't it? That we say. And that's also said in Siva Dharapu, Kapra Deva said. You understand? When you were at Mother's womb, you had given that words to Krishna, but you have forgotten it. Oh Krishna, please, ah, sir, mercy on me this time. Ah, make me get out of this very painful ah, situation, you see. Mother Sum so painful. Painful. Zanma, zantuna, isn't it? Birth, death, old age, disease, these are miseries. Huh? So painful. If a scorpion will bite you, have you ever experienced that thing? Huh? Get a scorpion. I'm like... Let it bite him. <laughs> Let him experience. Do you understand how painful it is? If at a time, Hundreds of scorpions will bite you. You imagine what painful, such painful situation is mother soon. Yes, such painful situation. You should understand this thing. So, that painful situation, Jiva prays to Lord. Oh, Krishna, please, please, this time, this is last time. This time, please, our mercy on me and get me out of this painful situation. This time, I will never forget you. I will do your person. You have given this word to Krishna. But ki karcha? What are you doing? Ah, bhuliyar hoile tumi obhidyar bhuri. But now you have forgotten, not doing Krishna bhaja. You see. Jai jana bhaja Krishna seva chato. You understand? Jai jana bhaja Krishna seva. He is intelligent one who does Krishna. You understand? He has not forgotten. Oh, I have given this word to Krishna when I was in Mother's soul. Again, Mahapur came to remind you. Bhajiva bhuliya se samsara vittari. Bhuliya rohile tumi 
Et toutes les, toutes les Veda, en fait, là. Nerds, mais Si l'âme conditionnée, elle reçoit des, des coups de fouet de Maya, et on va dire Ah oui, très agréable, c'est que de fouet. Hein? Sois intelligent, sois intelligent. Get the super head while getting glasses on my ass. Come here, the pure amour de Krishna. Don't spoil her life. Don't spoil. Yes. Yes. I have one question, you know, about this uh, Harina that uh, you mentioned. It is recommended to chant Hari Krishna Mahamantra. So one may think, okay, I have uh, knowledge that this Hari Krishna Mahamantra is good, so I will chant this Hari Krishna Mahamantra. But then, where is the need to receive this Harinam Diksha, this Hare Krishna Mahamantra, from bonified source and bonified spiritual master in the Parampara? Is this the, you know, what is the effect? What is the necessity? Or, uh, you know, there's a question here. Yes, I can understand your question. Yes, how do you understand that? Yes, that this Harinam. Yes, like that, because some people may think, you know, I. Mam Guru says, you hear it from Guru. You understand? So, one who says this thing is Guru. Is Guru. So you must accept it, that Guru. Mm. You cannot understand this this by your own merit, mm. a thought, mm. by yourself. So many people are there. But then, with the chanter, do they understand? Hmm? There's so much engrossed. Ah, so much absorbed. So much absorbed in material. Enjoyment, so much interest. They can understand this. You understand? Like sunless dogs. Like sunless dogs, they are enjoying in the open street, you see. Open place, like sunless dogs. Yes, they can't understand. The Vaishnava Shad, his heart bleeds seeing this suffering of ah, this conditioned soul. Forgetful soul, such a forgetful soul, conditioned soul. Huh? He has completely forgotten this thing. You understand? Body self. A foolish, ignorant fool. He is an ignorant fool, you see. That's how the Savas is must be. Chance. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. My Guru Maharaj came to this Western world, you see. Huh? He saw his mercy, you see. Huh? With one pair of Kartal he came. When Kartal chanted, 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 the hippies were <laughs> moving there, they all came, do you understand? They all came. Oh, what is going on? You see, <laughs> this is Sadhus Daya. So one who does so, this Sadhus is good. We have to accept. Because by Guru's mercy, you can understand this thing. Otherwise, you can't understand. Eh? Eh? The Nam, the name has, you eh? see, what is a potency. It's potency. And cheap, cheap result is Krishna Pray. Eh? You may, you heard that thing, all right. You heard from the lips of a Vishnu. That is good. Anyhow, you, if you have faith in that person, then you can accept it. You have no faith, you won't accept it. You won't accept it, and you will get no benefit at all. You understand? So, faith requires sadha. Adu mm. sadha. First thing is sadha. Mm. Then you, yes, there is a sadhu, he is saying this thing, chanting or letting go. Anyhow, unconsciously you accept Guru, unconsciously. You are not conscious. Unconsciously you accept. And you have some faith in that person. That is, you accept it. So, you chant it. Mm. But, it is so potential, mm, it has its effect. It has its effects. 
even it is said, even a blind man, do you understand? Even a blind man, you write down in a piece of paper, in some places, later, like that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama, Rama. The blind man just talks, yes. His hand on that mantra, you'll get the effect. you get the effect. Yes. Sadhu does like that. The sadhu is causeless mercy. Ah, sadhu is causeless mercy. Do you understand? Mm. And you should, if you are intelligent, you should understand this thing. Oh, by the mercy of such person, I get such thing. So, if I get his full mercy, what not I get? Then he says, Mukhya Pate Jiva Pai Krishna Pramadam, chief result is brain. Unless you accept Guru, you cannot that the Mukhya. That brain will not be brain. You may ask. Go up to this Nama Bhas space that uh, Ajamila did. You cannot go beyond that. Therefore, there is, there is necessity. At best, you can go up to that point, Nama Bhas space. But the, that platform, Nama Bhas stays, Anarthas are not destroyed. No. Anarthas are there. Therefore, Rupa Goswami says, Adho Sardha to Sarsunga to Bhajan Priya Koko Nuttani Bhati Nishthastha to. When you chant this Hare Krishna under the guidance of Sadhu Guru, then your anarthas will be destroyed. Otherwise, anarthas will never be destroyed. That is the difference. You chant by yourself. Mantra is there in the book. You read in the book. Then you chant all I can say. But you are not chanting on the guidance of a guru, sad. So your honor will not be destroyed. Therefore, Guru says, Guru Padasraya, Guru will teach you how to do bhajan. Under his guidance, he will do. Asra loya bhaja tate kusno nahite de. Then that is it. Asra means Guru Padasraya. Taking center of guru, bhajan. He will do bhajan. Then Krishna will never give you. Otherwise, you cannot get Krishna. You can get Prem, therefore, you cannot get Krishna. Only you attain that stage. No more. Yes. No more. So, there is the necessity. He's, uh, he's saying that uh, to reach this stage of Namabhas, actually, uh, it means that one has already accepted Guru. And actually, I translated that without Guru, you're reaching, you can at, at most reach Namabhas. But he's saying, no, actually, it is not without Guru that you're reaching Namabhas, because already you, you needed the help of Guru to reach that stage. No, you can reach Namabhas without Guru, as Azamra did. You can? Yeah, Azamra attained that yeah. stage. Azamra attained that stage. Still, it is not an easy thing. It's not easy. It is not an easy thing. Yeah. Azamra didn't commit that offense. Nambare Pakuti, that offense he didn't commit. Therefore, he attained it. He attended that. He attended that. You understand? That stays. Otherwise, it's not an easy thing. And he had some security. He had put his name, named his last son Narayan. He, he was calling his son, not calling Lord Narayan. But uh, this uh, Lord, Lord's name is Narayan. So he attended that stays. Because he didn't commit that offense, Namam. Nambore Pabuti, eh? committing sin, laquity by strength of chanting Harina. That uh, offense it didn't commit. So he attended. But it is not easy thing. It's not easy. That all will attend. No, no such thing. Your chanting will be offensive chanting, definitely. Hmm. You are committing many offenses, you are not conscious of the offenses. Consciously and unconsciously also you are committing offenses. So your chanting is all offensive chanting. But you wait only dharma or to come. No mokya. If someone can attend this nama stays, then he'll get mokya, liberation. Mm. Yes. Mm. That is that. But it's not an easy thing. Easy thing. Mm. And Adhamra attend that stays. Huh? And he didn't die, you see. He was going to die. <laughs> three, three Jamadutas came, isn't it? But as soon as he uttered Narayana 
ਹੋਰ ਇਸਨ ਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਇਮੀਡੀਏਟ ਲੈ ਪੀ ਗਿਆ ਐਂਡ ਲੈ ਸੈਟ ਦੇ ਡਾਲ ਟਾਸ ਦੀ ਬਾਰੀ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਇਸ ਇਟ ਕੈਨਟ ਆਫ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਹਾਰ ਦੀ ਡਿਸਕਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਜੌਨ ਦਾ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਸ ਲਿਸ ਦਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦਿਸ ਭਾਗ ਦਾ ਧਰਮ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਧਰਮ ਟਾਪਿਕ ਆਫ ਧਰਮ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨ ਇਟ ਡਿਡ ਸਮ ਸਾਧੂ ਸੰਗ ਦੇ ਐਸ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਵਿਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਸੀ ਸਾਧੂ ਸੰਗ ਹਾ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਬਿਕਮ ਕਾਨਸ਼ੀਅਸ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਬਿਕਮ ਕਾਨਸ਼ੀਅਸ ਇਹ ਬਿਕਮ ਰਿਪੈਂਟੈਂਟ ਓ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਸਚ ਆਈ 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 ਐਮ ਸਚ ਏ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਪਰਸਨ ਹਾ ਇਹ ਨਾ ਸੋ ਹੀ ਡਿਡ ਡਾਈ ਹੀ ਡਿਡ ਡਾਈ ਹਾ ਹਿਸ ਲਾਈਫ ਸਪੈਨ ਇਨਕ੍ਰੀਸਡ ਦੇਨ ਹੀ ਬਿਕਮ ਰਿਪੈਂਟੈਂਟ ਦੇਨ ਹੀ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਹਰਦਵਾਰ and did sadh sama and stayed in the association of sadhus and did bhajan then he up accepted it yes that is that association of sadhus means that sadhus means acceptance of this first day last day with sadhus then develops sadhus means faith faith in vedic scripts are faith in sadhu guru shastra that is sadha then you can understand what is the need of accepting the guru then you can understand by hearing from sadhus because all these things are discussed there then this second sadhu sangha is guru padas that's guru padas then will do bhajan then bhajan kriya then namartha nikti otherwise namartha will never be test question yes is uh, raising a question about uh, the position of a uh, grihastha in a modern society like uh, nowadays in France you know that uh, many grasses they have to work outside in the material world get jobs and uh, in this way you know due to uh, uh, some some uh, some difficulties you know in their schedule you know they cannot maintain a proper sadhana you know because they have to also work early and then they have to also associate with non devotees so actually their sadhana is so to understand before entering into the family life you should prepare yourself do you understand you should prepare yourself i am entering into the fire fire will burn me first i should be fire proof though i am in the fire i will never burn an intelligent man should understand this thing you understand this is our vedic way this is our vedic way but you are unprepared you are so foolish that you entered into the fire now you are burning now you are burning fire is burning you this is sheer foolishness nothing else first become fire proof then enter into the fire that is vishnu grosta that is said sat griha sat do you understand this thing yes hmm. yes that's gruhi vishnu gruhi vishnu sadhu has accepted it so sa to teach people how to do krishna sansa antar nishtha bahe log pe bha asi raat krishna tumai kori bhi utha you understand in your heart you have kept krishna your heart is what to say tightly you understand tightly attached ah, to krishna but outwardly externally you are behaving as if you are very much attached to your wife to your family to your friends so called friends like this i was saying that thing in there a room this bhagavatam class to the class they say anasakta vishaya and tharam pojunjat nirbandha krishna sambandhe jutta koi ragyo che grihastha se jutta koi ragyo if i not jutta koi ragi you are a guru medhi guru proto you not guru yes it's too much a task 
to his wife, to his family, to his griha, to his wealth, all these things. Others say, when you die, you will become ghost and come there. Or you will burn as a dog. You will burn as a dog and you will be sitting at the doorstep. Oh my God, I am not sitting here. The dog is sitting. This is your place. You have to choose. What do you want? Whether you want Krishna or Maya? Has to choose. You have choice. If you are a serious person, no, I want Krishna. If you want Krishna, you must do Krishna samsa. Why do Maya samsa? Yes, I will accept a wife who is Krishna conscious. Wife. It means Krishna dasi. She is Krishna dasi. She is made servant of Krishna. And she will be enjoyed by Krishna, not by you. You are not enjoy. Krishna is not enjoy. You understand? You should understand this thing. You are Krishna Das, he is Krishna Dasi. And the purpose of marriage is what? Vevaya prajaya norupi. Purpose of marriage is to procreate Krishna conscious child or children, not sexual enjoyment. No. That Bhagavatam says. That is our Vaishnava. The purpose of sexual enjoyment you have accepted. Wife. Thinking wife as the object of enjoyment. She is an object of enjoyment. You understand? In the words of Talhat Maharaj. Why has she come? She has come to give me pleasure to my jiva, to my palate, to my genital. She will prepare nice dishes, serve me, sitting beside me, fanning of my dear beloved, or what do you say? Beloved. Yes. <laughs> my dear beloved. Please test it. How it is? Oh, very nice. I so like to give more. Oh, I take it, take it. Joking, laughing, panting. Oh, so nice. Oh, you bust the whole and you bust at night. Give enjoyment to my gender. That is your purpose. Your purpose is not to serve Krishna. She is Krishna Dasi. She is, she is to be enjoyed by Krishna, not by you. Only purpose is to procreate Krishna conscious child or children. Fail the society with Krishna conscious children. Why are failing the society? Bastard children, Varna Shankar. Huh? That is our purpose. Do you understand? That is the purpose. Fail the society with Krishna conscious children. Then this will be whole society of Krishna conscious. That, that, therefore, therefore sadhu accepts sansara. Otherwise, why do sadhu will accept sansara? To teach people how to do Krishna sansara. Not my sansara. Take care of yourself. The society will be taken care of itself. Don't think of society first. Think of yourself. What I am doing. If you are serious. To fulfill the purpose of human life, to attain that super imperfection. If you are serious, you understand? Take care of yourself. So, super, Krishna is the supreme controller. 